Well, hello, everybody. Yes, by the scary music you hear, the candles lit behind me, this creepy skull, you know it's time for... Conspiracy theories! By the way, the candle behind me is frosted chocolate cupcake. So, fat life. Okay, so today we're gonna be talking about some really fun conspiracies and also a couple of very scary ones. Now, I don't really have a theme for the kind of conspiracy theories we're talking about today. Um, they're kind of just a bunch of different random ones that I enjoy. So without further ado, let's get started. Number one, Avril Lavigne is actually dead. So basically, the conspiracy goes that Avril Lavigne, of course, was a singer from Canada who came over to America, got everybody all complicated, showed us her skater boy life, and then became super famous. Now, because she became super famous, she started getting attacked by paparazzi. So what she did was she hired a double, somebody who looked just like her to walk around town and make paparazzi think that was them, so that she could, like, hide out and eat poutine or something. Now, this double's name is Melissa Mandela, and they look very similar. They quickly became best friends and started hanging out all the time. Melissa kind of picked up on all of Avril's little essences, the way she spoke, the way she acted, the things she ate. She was probably doing a lot of this. Now what happened next is very sad. After Avril's first album, Let Go, came out, uh, her grandfather passed away and she took it very, very hard. She was very public about it. She was crying on stage at concerts. She was really, really distraught. So the conspiracy goes that after this happened, she killed herself. But because she was at the height of her fame and the height of her career, the record label did not want to let Avril Lavigne go. Oh, let go. See what I did there? Anyways, they did not want to let her go, so they had Melissa step in and take over. So a lot of fans have been taking pictures of Avril from before her grandfather died, and pictures of Avril after and comparing them. They've noticed that in the old pictures, she has a certain amount of birthmarks on her arm, and in the new pictures, she has like half of that. And then also, she used to have two birthmarks on her face, and now she only has one. And then when Avril was on a Brazilian talk show, the talk show host asked her what she thought about the rumors that she was actually dead, and she answered with this. Have you read about this? I, I didn't hear about it. I just just hear about it from I'm hearing about it from you. Mas existem provas que você não é Avril Lavigne. Well, I'm here. <laughs> and I'm in Brazil. No, I'm no I'm Avril Lavigne. It's a clone. So obviously she was trying to play it off like everything's cool, but the whole performance she did right after that, she was stumbling, she was messing up, doing a lot of things that Avril usually never does. So obviously it affected her a little bit. Now the other proof that Avril is dead is uh, that all the music she made after Let Go has been a lot different. She went from doing like pop rock to this. Mima Psycho Arigato! Yeah, Avril did. Now in all seriousness, I actually love Avril Lavigne. Most of you guys know that. She is my favorite singer of all time. I own all of her albums. She was my first wife. But, I don't know, the conspiracy theory kind of makes a lot of sense. All right, number two, Beyonce's age is exposed. Now, a few months ago, I told you guys the conspiracy that Beyonce is actually much older than she says she is. And uh, it's all been speculation until now. Her dad was in an interview and he accidentally outed her. Pink. Oh, cool. uh, she was, <laughs> she's the exact same age as Beyonce. And there used to be this battle which group was better. And you had Usher, he was, he was the same age. They were all 14 and 15 years old. Now, if she's the same age as Pink and Usher, well, Usher's 37 and Pink is 36. Beyonce claims she's 34 years old. And like I told you guys last time, in an interview with Gabrielle Union, Gabrielle Union said that her and Beyonce were friends when they were teenagers. Gabrielle Union is 42. I don't know. All I know is that Beyonce is probably real pissed at her dad right now. But that's all I'm gonna say about Beyonce, because you know my feelings about her. I think she's part of the Illuminati. She scares the shit out of me, but she's queen. She's queen. But yeah, don't kill me. Okay, number three, Pharrell Williams is a vampire. Okay, now this one actually kind of sent shivers up my spine because um, it's really creepy. So Pharrell Williams, obviously the happy. Now he has been around forever. A lot of you guys don't know this. He has literally been around since I was a kid and I'm old, but he has not aged. This is him in 2013. This is him in 2003, 10 years before that. Looks the same. This is him in 1990. That's 25 years ago. 25 years ago, I was two and he looked the same. And this next picture, I'm gonna warn you, it's creepy. This is what people think is him in the year 1492. <laughs> and first of all, he's still wearing that big ass hat. That's clue number one that this is real. Clue number two, he has the same face. That's the same person. That's the scariest thing ever. I am not happy. I'm fucking terrified. But also, I want him to bite me so I can stay young forever. But not this age. I want to go back like 10 years. Number four, Disneyland is mind controlling you with smell. 
Now this is something I've always been very interested in because Disneyland really scares me. There's a lot about Disneyland that they don't tell us. Number one, there's a whole underground society. Right underneath Disneyland is like buildings and workers and employees and secret passageways. Like there's a whole world under there. Really creepy. Just think every time you're like walking around Disneyland eating a corn dog, there's like hundreds of people under you. It's like a cemetery that's alive, except everybody's dead inside. But the one thing that Disneyland has that's really creepy that nobody ever tells you about is they have these little holes everywhere all over the park that pump out smells. For example, uh, when you walk in, you're gonna smell candy, cookies, and food, and make you hungry, and make you buy shit. Then when you're like in the Pirates of the Caribbean, they have smells of salt water, and animal life, and forest, and trees. Now that one's not that scary. That actually makes a lot of sense. But then when you get into the gift shop, they have the smell of crisp money, and the smell of coins. They want you to spend it all! I don't know, it's really creepy to me. Like, I can't imagine somebody like pumping smells to me to make me want something. By the way, God, doesn't a chocolate frosted cake sound so good right now? And that's right, I'm mind controlling myself. And last but not least, American Idol is fake. Now this one is really obvious, but for a lot of you guys that don't know, guess what, reality shows, not real. Well, 600 pound life, that is real, that is hard to fake. Fat suits do not look that good, believe me. Try it. Now, American Idol is a show where the whole point is to make a superstar. They want to create the next pop star, so you go out, buy all the albums. The pop star gets signed to the record label that is owned by American Idol, so they will make all the money when you buy their shitty music. But not Kelly Clarkson, she's queen. Now, the way they do this is they cast the show. Now, I know you guys see all the auditions and you're like, oh wow, they're searching for the next superstar. No, 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 they already know who they want. Most of the people in the top 10 or top 12 were cast. They were found on casting websites. They were found through agents, through man Managers. The audition part is literally just to find terrible people for like that funny montage. Which by the way, all those terrible people audition and then the casting director says, wow, you're great, come on back next time, and lies to them. So by the time the terrible person is in front of Simon Cowell and Jennifer Lopez and shit, they think they're good because they've been through like five auditions and everybody was like, you're great. And now Simon Cowell and everybody's like, that was atrocious, kill yourself. And that poor person is like, wait, but I thought I was good. Everybody else said I was good. It took me five auditions to get here just because the show wants terrible people to make fun of, it's fucked. So here's how it goes. Basically, out of the top 10, they want one person they know is gonna be a superstar. And that one person is usually somebody they already know. For example, Kelly Clarkson, they made her out to be like this girl from Texas who's a waitress who's like never been a singer before. She like sings in the shower. No, no, no. She was already living in LA. She already had a record deal. She already was working with music producers. She was already writing songs. Like she was already trying to be a pop star. American Idol found her and they were like, wow, you're really good. And like, we can make you famous. And she's like, okay. And they were like, just pretend you still live in Texas. Just pretend like you're still a cowgirl. Just say yeehaw a bunch of times. And then America fell in love with her, including me. And I still love her and I'll never stop. So that's one. Then they have another person on the show that they cast called The Rabbit. So in American Idol, The Rabbit is like that singer who everybody knows isn't gonna win. They're not good enough, but they are good enough to where everybody's like chasing after them. Every season has one. It's usually like the older contestant. So the Melinda Doolittle, Jennifer Hudson. It's the one that nobody really thinks should win. And all the other contestants are gonna be scared of them. So they're gonna work really, really hard. Then you have the entertainment value one. Then you have the slutty one to get the guys to watch. Then you have the gay one to get the gay people to watch. Then you have the really young one to get all the teenagers to watch. You have the hot college guy to get all the moms to watch. And then you have a couple of random people who are just kind of good, but not that great, and then they go home early. But the producers know the whole season Kelly Clarkson is gonna win. They know when all the other people are gonna go home because they have fixed it. So next time you watch one of these talent shows, just think about that. Mostly it's fake. And all those little backstories that they have, like my mom has cancer, or my dad died, or my animal got shot in the face by a bullet. Those stories are always to make you care so that you buy their music. It's not real. I mean, it is real, but it's not real. Well, there you guys go. Those were the conspiracies today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It was a little bit different. We talked about some different things. I smelt a lot of cake. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what conspiracies you want me to talk about next. Also, which of these conspiracies I talked about today do you believe? Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because I make new videos every single day. And if you want to see more of my conspiracy videos, I made a playlist and I'll put the link right there. All right, you guys. Keep thinking. Bye. <gasps> oh, that's mean. <laughs> That's a prank. That's a prank versus prank. That's a boy ID versus boy ID. That's fucked up. Who would do that?